foundation was founded in 1974 after the mill had been abandoned for several years. It, it was a grist mill and then it was um, w when the cities had started their own mills it went downhill and then it became a church furniture factory and then it was abandoned and falling apart. So in 1974 one of the, the uh, residents in town decided that we should get together and save the mill. So at that point they had many people who were craftsmen and so they didn't have a lot of money but they had a lot of expertise and they spent years and years and years on restoring this mill and then um, from then on it, it uh, just got improved every year and we have had festivals, concerts, one-act plays, children's theater, um, clown academy, of course the big hit is the Fiddlers. It's the 34th year of the Fiddlers. On the first floor there's a general store and then there's art on the first floor and historical um, artifacts and photographs. The second floor is the theater. Uh, we've had uh, Guthrie production here, we've had an Ibsen production here, um, and sometimes when it gets r it's raining out and there's, the crowd's not too big, we come up here for the Fiddlers. Um, on the third floor is our art gallery, and the Lake Region's Arts Council gave us money to put a new roof on our art gallery, to put ventilation on our art gallery, and to cover our stage so that the art gallery now has been upgraded and we had this great um, big stone art council uh, exhibit this summer where they brought everything here and hung it themselves. We had a sculpture in the water that was a duck and we had a huge um, granite sculpture outside. So the first time we had outdoor sculpture and an entire exhibit from another township. Um, so we're looking forward to doing that again this coming summer. And we also have a roast mulling cottage, a little cottage, one room cottage that was entirely roast mulled inside by professional roast mullers. So that's kind of interesting. And our latest, our latest venture is we bought the schoolhouse, the one room schoolhouse. And through foundation monies and through the Historical Society, we're uh, renovating that. And that will then be a replica of a one-room schoolhouse. Many people around here remember going to that schoolhouse in the, I think, the 40s. This last um, August, we had um, Bluegrass Festival that was sponsored by the Lake Region's Art Council. And last year, we had a jazz festival. And this coming season, we're going to have a country music festival. This is all by exit surveys, what the community would like to see here. And those are all evening, 7 o'clock in the evening outdoors. It's really unique in this area.